everyone welcome and welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to share 20 points with you which will ensure your success in an interview so before you go for an interview there are certain things that you should prepare you should keep in your mind and you should focus on when you are giving your answers so this video will also have the answer to the question of how should you format your answer when an interview asks you a question how should you answer it in a way that they will select you that they will feel that yes you are the one for their team you should be the one working with them also there are certain things which you must have already heard you should be confident you should smile more you should do these things I know you know these things but I am also going to share with you that how can you be more confident. Of course you know you should be confident, you shouldn't be nervous, you know that. But how can you do it? Because everyone tells you to be confident but no one tells you how to do it. So especially for something like an interview, how can you follow those things? I am going to share those points as well with you. Okay, so make sure that you watch this video right till the end and then you let me know how did you like this video or if there was something else that you would like me to add in the next one. So let's start with the first one, the most basic, basic one, which everyone tells you and you know already, which is you have to be confident. But how can you be confident when you go for an interview, especially when that's the place you dearly, you eagerly want to be a part of that team and you're just not sure if they're going to take you, right? So how can you be confident? There are certain things which are about being confident, especially when it comes to an interview. So the first thing is you have to be on time. You have to be before time, that's okay. But you cannot be after after the certain uh, limit or whatever time they have given. Because that will definitely shake your confidence. That will never, never is going to work in your favor. Okay, so not just because you should be on time, punctuality is a very important part of being in an airline industry. That is there, but also it will help you boost your confidence when you are there on time. Okay, the other thing is you have to be properly groomed. It has been scientifically proven that when you are properly groomed, you are in a good dress, when you feel that yes, now I'm ready, I'm beautiful, I'm pretty, that's the time you will, from inside, you will feel that confidence coming up that yes, I know I can do it, I look good, I speak well, I'm, I'm properly dressed, I have a good perfume on, I am prepared. So these things will help you boost your confidence. Then you must prepare, you must prepare whatever you're going to answer in your interview. I will also talk about what is the difference between preparedness and just reading out things aloud. I will talk about that. But if you are prepared, you know about the company, you have a certain idea of what, what kind of questions they are going to ask you and you have also mentally prepared certain answers for those questions, then you will feel confident from inside. Okay, you have to prepare your, your grammar, your English, your communication, whatever, the information about the company or certain questions which they might ask you. You have to prepare those things, okay? Then you have to make sure that you have all the documents with you ready. Whatever documents they need or they have mentioned that you have to bring these documents with you while you come for an interview, you have to keep them ready. Make a couple of extra copies, that's fine. Add in a few bucks, that's okay. But when they, when it, it shouldn't happen that someone went inside and this person came out and said, oh, they're also asking for this other document or they are also asking for this copy, which I did not have. That will make you fidget, that will just make you go crazy in your mind that, oh, I don't have this, what if I, I go inside and they will ask me and I don't have it. So don't let them have any of those moments, don't take those, those chances and just have all the documents prepared with you, have a couple of extra copies, have a pen with you always, have photographs, passports, everything, keep it with you. And then one more tip which I would give you is, always always have a certain um, makeup things or certain accessories with you extra in pair keep it in your bag have a water bottle have your makeup uh, things which you which will help you retouch your makeup like an extra pair of lipstick or concealer compact perfume a pair of stockings if you're a guy maybe have a proper tie pin or another tie or socks whatever you think maybe a comb anything that would help you that you might think that oh i might need it in the end or someone else might need it in the end so have those things prepared so that if ever it comes to the point that oh i need another one then it will not shake your confidence that oh i don't have this thing i don't have that now i don't have time to go and get it so you should always have those things extra now, if you follow these things, definitely it's going to build up your confidence and you will feel more confident than if you did not do these things. Okay, 
then the next thing uh, which comes is whenever you are answering the questions whenever you meet the interviewers or even when you are just sitting outside in the hall with other candidates you should always always smile even when you are speaking you should smile okay so not laugh but smile you should have that small teeny tiny smile so that whatever you are speaking whatever you are answering that smile should always be there so that shows that yes you are built for customer service you are built in a way that you will like to talk to people and people would like to talk to you right so you always have to smile then the other thing is you should always have clear articulation which means whatever you are speaking or talking it has to be clearly enunciated you should take pauses at the right place you should stress the correct words and you should be grammatically correct okay you have to take care of how you are speaking so this is actually about the english portion but it is also about your communication skills and most of the companies nowadays that's what they're looking for are you are you someone who is fluent are you someone who speaks in a way that people would want to listen to especially if you're going for a customer service industry or any industry which deals with people and you have to go one on one or maybe you're alone and there are 50 people in front of you so these kind of industries they would definitely prefer someone who has these communication skills so definitely i will uh, post more videos about working on your english your grammar enunciation stresses pauses i would do that in the future but for now you have to be mindful of these things okay so make sure you're not speaking too fast or too slow or too loud or very low okay not none of those things you have to be properly articulated and you have to speak properly and the next point is your answers should always be positive okay whatever you answer whatever is the question what are your even if it's what are your weaknesses your weaknesses couldn't be something you can't go and tell them i'm lazy no or whatever if it's about your previous employer or give me an example of the last time you made a mistake so then your answer how are you going to form that answer oh i made a mistake it was terrible i still cry about it no so whatever is your answer you have to form it in a certain way that it comes out as positive even even if the question is what was the last mistake that you made so you can inform them that i usually uh, think about things before i take a decision but this time i took xyz decision and it did not work out in my favor and then this this thing it went wrong so what i did from this was from this incident was that i learned what was my mistake and then i rectified it and i'm still working on it or i have already overcame that thing whatever it is but you have to make it in a positive way so that you now tell them that yes i made a mistake i learned from it or i'm still learning from it and i grew from there okay you cannot just be like oh i made a mistake and it was terrible and done no so whatever answer you're giving it always has to be something positive then the next thing is you have to be honest so even though as i've said that yes even if they ask you about your weakness you shouldn't say that oh i'm so lazy oh i don't know how to manage time oh people hate me oh i don't like to talk to people i don't even like to look at their face so your answers have to be honest yes but honesty in the sense that if you don't have any experience prior working with customers or customer service industry then don't lie because they will know if you don't have a certain degree it's okay but don't lie if you don't have a diploma don't lie that's what i'm saying so honesty at this part whatever they are asking you don't make up super fake stories a little bit here and there is fine sometimes it's possible that it was not your experience but one of your friends experience and if they ask you did you ever felt that thing or this happened to you maybe you took that story and you said it it's fine but most part try to stick to honesty unless you are a very good liar then i don't know then you can do whatever you want but from my side i would say they can see if you're honest your vibes would show your aura would come off like that that yes this is an honest a decent person okay so as much as possible be very honest then whatever questions they are asking you you should be mindful that these answers are short sweet they are honest answers they are correct answers they are spoken properly and keep this one thing in mind that it's not about what you say but it's about how you say it okay so even if it's just a one line or two line answer and it is not something which is extraordinary when they ask you oh when was the last time that, that you helped someone and you don't have an experience of working in an industry before maybe you are just a fresher 
then the answer doesn't need to be oh there was an earthquake and i went to help people there or there was a flood and i was a part of the rescue team no i mean if if you did that that's good it's amazing kudos to you but even if the answer is not that maybe you just helped someone who wanted to cross the street and you did that that is okay your stories don't have to be extraordinary but your stories have to be articulated properly your stories have to be positive and your stories must show the qualities that they are looking for okay which brings me to my next point that you have to focus on the company you should know about the company before you go for an interview you should know about the company and also you have to understand what they are focusing on for example if i'm going for an interview of indigo then indigo is well known for being very punctual okay they cater to all classes they cater to masses and they are very punctual or their flights are always on time so if that's what they are focusing on then your stories your answers your what's your strength it should be about i'm very punctual okay so it should show that if you're going for an interview of kata airways then they are more about customer service they focus because it's a service class airline they charge you a little bit more but then they will make sure that your journey is hassle free and your journey is memorable memorable whatever it is okay so certain uh, service class airlines emirates etihad if it is it is airlines like these then you have to focus on customer service so your answers should show that your stories should come off like that but that my strength is i love to be around people i love to talk to people i'm all about customer service okay so whatever your answers are they should match the qualities the requirements that they are looking for and they should feel like oh my god this person is just like god sent he is or she is made for our company so your answer should come off like that and the next point is a uh, no negative so as i'd mentioned before everything all your answer should come off as positive the negative is about if they ask you about your previous company then you shouldn't say anything negative if they ask you about oh you are uh, doing in uh, you are doing a diploma in aviation from this uh, institute then maybe your diploma is not going so well or maybe that institute is not doing what they were supposed to do but then don't answer things negatively you it will always come off as oh maybe there's something wrong with this person and not the previous boss or not the current job or not the institute so whatever it is just try to have a positive front yes the institute is doing this they are doing this or my my job is fine but i'm looking for a change so how answers prepared for those talk about answering the questions how will you answer these questions the interview questions make sure that you always maintain that eye contact with the interviewer okay so let's say if you're someone who's scared to have a direct eye contact trick is that you keep looking onto their forehead okay so this seems like this will give them an illusion that you're looking in their eyes but actually you'd be looking at their forehead so it still it seems it comes out that as that you're confident so that still works to when you're answering a question uh, of the interviewer then picture yourself in the shoes of the interviewer okay so this person he or she came early in the morning 8 o'clock this person has been preparing for this interview for a while or questions to ask and he has about 1000 people in the queue or at least 100 200 people or girls boys all like you and they are all waiting in the queue they all want to be interviewed now this interviewer he has or she has already talked to 50 people this person is already tired this person is already exhausted i know it's their job but now at this point if i go and i start talking about my name is this 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 i came from this this school my my aviation uh, my institute is this 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 i scored this many percentage my parents are this 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 my brother is this 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 we live in a nuclear family my mother is a homemaker my father is a this 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 i love to be in aviation okay at this point he has heard these things a thousand times from a thousand people okay they need something which stands out so what you need to do is okay i'm also going to make a separate video about how should you answer tell me something about yourself which is the make or break question for you for everyone but at this point i'm just asking you to be a little bit more empathetic and think about that this person has already been dealing with this for such a long time so maybe i will give an answer which which is better than others which is different from others so stop all the irrelevant information they don't care if your mother is a homemaker they don't care if your father is doing whatever they are doing how old is your brother how old is your sister it doesn't matter okay 
so give the information which is relevant and then talk about yourself why do you want to be in this industry why does this job suit you or why is this job interesting to you okay answer about those things talk about your hobbies talk about the things which are not in your resume they can see you scored 70% or 80% and unless you are applying for a technical field it doesn't matter how much did you score as long as you have the degree that's the minimum requirement or as long as you have the diploma whatever they're asking for as long as you have it it doesn't matter how much did you score and even if you scored 100 it's there in the resume it doesn't matter so talk about relevant things then of course have this stand out point everyone should have that x factor in them okay so when you go they should be charmed by your presence they should be charmed by the way you speak they should look at you and feel like oh yes i need this girl i need this boy in my company i should take this person before another company takes it okay so again this thing will help you stand out from the rest of the crowd this thing will make the interviewer think oh yeah i need this person it could be anything it could be the way you speak it could be the way you do your makeup it could be how you tell stories it could be how you treat other people but there has to be something which makes you stand out from other people it could be your smile okay it could be your expressions it could be your body language it could be anything but it has to be your x factor you have to stand out amongst the whole crowd always whenever the interviewer has asked you a question take your time to think about the answer don't be in a rush to answer like he asked me i have to answer within 2 nanoseconds or this interview is gone no it doesn't matter if you took 3 or 4 or 5 seconds don't take a minute but it's okay to think for a couple of seconds and then format your uh, format your answer inside your mind okay so if they have asked you about the last experience which you had where the customer service was not so good and you felt that it could have been better okay format your answer in your mind okay so i went to this restaurant i ordered this food the waitress was a bit rude i did not like the food that we had so i gave them a feedback okay but make sure that it's already in 1 2 3 sequence in your head before you speak it out because what if you spoke oh i went to this restaurant we ordered food and then i complained or it goes like oh but you know the waitress was already very rude that's why i complained so make sure that it's not jumbled it's not up and down they don't want to put that much pressure in their head or they don't want to take make those efforts in understanding your complicated story so make sure that you format the answer in your head take a couple of seconds for that and then you answer the question let's come to the last last points the couple of last points uh, the video is already a bit uh, long but i hope that this information is going to be very useful for you So then the next thing is that don't think of an interview as an interview because when you think of it as an interview then it's going to scare you off you're going to think about all the things oh they will not like me oh it might go wrong this and that when you're answering the questions in an interview try to have it as a conversation think of the other person in front of you as just a normal person and how would you talk to someone you just met so you share your points you listen to their points try to speak more because of course it is an interview at the end of the day but instead of having it as a rapid fire or question and answer role rather than that have it as a a conversation where things just flow like that on its own okay so they ask you something you answer and then from that answer they will ask you something else another question would come up so try to have it as a conversation try to build a rapport with your interview so that they will remember even when the interview is done they're like mm, mm, i remember this girl you know the way she spoke it was very nice right try to have this oh yeah we had a connection we we match the vibes okay so try to have that with the interview not like chali buddies now you're not friends but make sure that you have kind of a connection it's not just a q and a round where question and answer question and answers are going on no don't make it like that Let's talk about one more thing that is always thank them for giving you this opportunity to talk to them okay so you can do this uh, with your first answer when when that's the first answer let's say they say tell me something about yourself so you can say uh, first of all i would like to thank you for giving me this opportunity to talk about myself or uh, listening to me or giving me this question to express myself whatever it is with the first question you can start with this and then you start your answer and then also in the end you have to thank them for their time so thank you so much for your time thank you so much for listening to me thank you so much so, uh, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity don't do this for each and every answer like 
if they ask you five question don't start each and every answer with oh thank you so much for this and that no for maybe uh, one or two question you can say oh i'm so glad that you asked me this question because i find it very interesting or something like this but don't do this for each and every question maybe something which interests you particularly then you can do that and then finally one last 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 secret secret top secret tip is when you are in the interview hall with other interviewees and everyone's waiting outside please please do not be on your phone especially if you're going for a customer service job or customer service interview where you have to deal with people if that's the job do not be on your phone sitting like this making this rude face because they will see you when they are passing by when they are walking by right so don't think that you would have this grumpy face all the time and then suddenly you go in the interview talk like this it's going to work out no it's not so make sure that you're talking to other people okay you listen to them you listen to their stories this is actually a two fold strategy i would tell you because one thing it makes an impression on the interviewers that yes this person is genuine genuinely interested in other people and that's why this person is not on the phone but this person is talking to other people okay and the second thing is when you talk to so many people when you talk to different people you get different ideas you will also get to know oh there is another vacancy here or maybe this company is not so good or maybe the other company is paying better or maybe the next time oh this girl she did this hair style maybe you could talk to her and you can ask her how she did it and she will tell you so not only that you come off as a better person than someone who is using their mobile phone but also you also gather a lot of information which you can use for your next interview or any anywhere in your life not just next interview because i'm pretty sure if you follow all these things you will get through this interview okay so you don't have to use it for a couple of years at least till the time you're working in uh, the company that you're going for so keep tuned keep subscribed and i hope these 20 points they helped you and if you did enjoy this video please subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comment section if there's something else that you would like me to cover i hope to see you guys in the next one bye take care